the garage sale for six. Listed separately. First one sold for two fifty and took an offer for two hundred on the second one. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and hopefully sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. This is a Share Your Best May Bolo. So these are items that sold on different platforms for big money. So we are gonna start here with the first item. And this one was told, sold by, oh my goodness, look at the dog in the back. Don't sell your dog. Don't sell your dog. Um, Doughboy's Treasures bought at a yard sale for $5 in original box, looked brand new, sold in two days for $60. Look at that little pup. Oh my goodness. It is a battery charger. Would you have walked past it or would you have picked it up? I, I think I might have walked past it. Now my husband, he probably would have picked something like that up. The next item is Paddle Talk. Now, I could not find this, the person that shared this, their actual listing. For some reason, I couldn't pull it up, but I found one similar to it. And I wanted to share this because there are others that have sold for big money. It looks like this one, <clears throat> excuse me, here sold for 94. They said, got this at America's Thrift Store in Alabama. It was in the hanging bag of toys. I had never seen one like it, but knew it was older. So for $1.99 with 10% off, I bought it. Listed it at $89 with the best offer. Started getting much lower offers, but a lot of them. So I took them, I took make offer off up to $99 and sold it that night for $99. Most definitely will start higher if I ever find another one. Love your videos in this page. Thank you. Well, thank you for sharing. It's a Paddle Talk vintage Automobilia 1970s Kmart flip sign talk car collectible. There you go, guys. Ever seen one of those? Would you have thought that it was worth so much money? And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Ha <laughs> ha You hold it up and it says things. That is kind of funny. $99. Wow. Okay. So here's the next one. This one is crazy um, because they sold six of them, six of these totaling $1,020. They sold all six. I don't know. Let's see. I think it went to the same buyer. Yeah, because it was $1,020. Looks like it was international shipping program. They paid $18. Bought at a yard sale off a woman who had Amazon pallet items. Colton's Corner. That is crazy. So $18 into over a thousand. Wow. Portal TV from Facebook. I don't know what that means. Smart video calling with Alexa. Okay. Never heard of that. Purchased at a garage sale for 25 and a bundle deal with two nine inch personal pizza pampered chef dishes. All three items were brand new. Listed it the same day for a $189.99 being the cheapest brand new sealed one on eBay. Sold within four hours for 170 plus shipping. Except it, accepted the best offer because it was from a repeat buyer. Footage was recorded for my YouTube channel, Mook's Treasure Trove on YouTube and eBay. So check out Mook's Treasure Trove for some, looks like selling videos. This one here is Chopping Mall VHS from 1989. And I did look up um, other ones and some of them sold higher. So definitely, uh, if you see this, look it up. Uh, vintage horror movies can do very well. One night I took a bunch of pictures of various horror movies, horror VHS. I picked up at a Goodwill. This was the best of the haul. Later, I suffered a bit of insomnia. I got up, listed this at 4.30 a.m. and was then able to sleep. Woke up at 8 and had sold, maybe slightly underpriced. Yeah, so um, somebody put, I watch the movie all the time. Yeah, me, I'm not a fan of. I don't like scary movies. I don't like them. Do you guys like scary movies? All right, you ready for this? This one was purchased at my Whatnot show. And it says vintage and unique abalone mother of pearl and wood bead necklace. And I remember selling this. She said, bought this beautiful necklace from Bolo Buddies on whatnot, $12.90 all in. So that includes purchase price 
of the item plus shipping and tax. And so $12.90, all in sold on Poshmark for $60. Buyer paid shipping. Uh, and this is from uh, Trey Marie. And it is a really beautiful necklace. So I think that sold pretty quickly. This and, and you guys come follow me on whatnot. I sell jewelry. I start everything at $5 or less. I do untangling. So you never know what we're going to find. It's super fun. Even if you don't want to buy, it's fun to come hang out and just see what I'm going to pull out of the bag um, or the tray. So I am Bolo Buddies over there. I do have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you use that to join whatnot. And I hope to see you at a show. This next one got this big bud press jumpsuit. I don't know why I said it like that. I now have an accent. <laughs> at a yard sale for $5. Very simple and unsuspecting, but apparently has a good following. Sold on Poshmark for $90. You guys, if you're not on Poshmark, I have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join with that referral link. This is a Nike Jordan Jumpman GGG large hoodie fight style I don't know, Gennady Golovikin. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a uh, sweatshirt, guys. Picked it up at the Goodwill bins, found late in the day, picked over and left behind, thought the tribal pattern and Nike tag made it interesting. I couldn't find any others listed. I spent about $2 and sold it for 94. I had a sale going on in my store at that time. Check that out found at the same Goodwill bins as the sweatshirt, but on a different day. I had it for about $1.75, got it for into, uh, I'm sorry, I had about $1.75 invested into this. My store is Nettie's Notions on eBay. And I don't know what she took a best offer for, but paid $1.75 for the Tycho's stethoscope. This is interesting. It's not a huge money bolo, but it is probably something that you may pass by that you can probably pick up very cheap and sell for a profit. Abercrombie and Fitch, 1999, very good condition, Bruce Weber baseball. I think this is just an, uh, yeah, a catalog. You know the catalogs you get in the mail? What? From 1999. I got this from a lot of magazines, books, and catalogs in an online estate sale. Cost about 17 cents. Listed for about two months, had many watchers and sent out offers, but ended up selling for full price. This one, I'm sorry, this was the only one listed with this cover. And Beefcake sells. Beefcake. <laughs> She's calling him a beefcake. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What's a beefcake? Seller name is RPH1981. $38.90 plus shipping. I also want to invite you guys to send me a short video called This Is My Bolo, where you share a 60 second to, it can be a little longer, video of a bolo you have. And I'm going to give you an example right now. Hey, bolo buddies and toy addicts. This is my bolo. This is Isabella from the show Phineas and Ferb. This was a cartoon on um, the Disney Channel started in 2007 and I believe it went for four seasons. Anyway, it's about to start up again. And so you people are excited about it because this is a Bella doll who is from the Disney store. She still has her original Disney store tag just sold overnight for $175. I bought this for $1 at a uh, kind of garage sale show kind of thing this weekend. Here are her friends, some of her friends anyway, from Phineas and Ferb. This is Phineas and Ferb. This is Dr. Doofenshmirtz. He's like the evil character on the show. He sells for about 30. And this is Candace. She's Phineas and Ferb's older sister, and she sells for about 25. I don't know why this one is so popular. So this is my bolo. Thanks, Courtney. So definitely follow her on YouTube. You guys, if you want to send me a video, you send that to Bolo Buddies on either Instagram or Facebook Messenger. And I will put it in a video just like this. Oh, look how cute this is. Rare Mint Vintage Ensco Mermaid Dolphin Anthropomorphic Wall Plaque Fish. 
purchased two of these vintage Insco Mermaid plaque, ceramic plaques at a garage sale for six. Listed separately. First one sold for $250 and took an offer for $200 on the second one. Wow, that's great. Six into $450. So parting them out was definitely the way to go probably on this. Thrift Almighty is the eBay store. Look at this. Okay, again, this is not a big money thing, but this is something that many of you are probably not going to list because you're going to think it has no value. Now, this is Canada, so I'm not sure how this uh, transfers into USA uh, conversion. Vet, uh, vintage Retro 1985 Genuine Kenner Mask Thunderhawk Missile Stun Bomb Weapon Part. So here's the problem. How on earth do you know what that is? Identification is very hard on these, but if you are somebody that knows toys, these things can sell for money. These parts and pieces that get lost. Says, hello, I'm back. I was the one who had the bolo on the Axe Body Wash Rubber Ducks. So that was in a previous video. Anyway, this time I'm sharing a bolo on replacement parts and accessories. Courtney always talks about this and sells these, these as well. I sell accessories a lot as well for items people need to replace or complete. So here is a small little missile accessory for a vintage mass Kenner toy car. I sold it for an offer of $21.44 Canada. And look how small and tiny this is. I bought the car for cheap from a thrift store for $5.99. Sold the car as parts for around $24 as is. And then the little missile part for $24.44. I am Retroactive Mart on eBay and Etsy and have a YouTube channel under the same name. Thanks, guys. Check out my channel for more retro toys and fun. Awesome. Check it out. Check it out. And thank you for sharing. This one I could not get to pull up. It seems like when I'm pulling up books, it's giving me just a thing without the photo. So I'm going to show it to you right here. This is Jen Diggity Junction. She said, my Goodwill outlet is in a university city. It's not uncommon to find textbooks, but knowing which ones to get can be a challenge. These are flashcards, but they counted them as a book. So paid 69 cents, took less than three months to sell. I don't think they make cards of this anymore. Just the ebook of the flashcards cards. So if someone wants to have the flashcards, they have to find them secondhand or probably make them, right? Uh, mine was open, but in great shape. Wish I could find bolos like this every time I go to the outlet. Sold for 270, or I'm sorry, $297.45. Anesthesiology oral board flashcards. So they are medical uh, flashcards. This one here is... It says it actually sold May, April 28th. I found this at a uh, Goodwill outlet. I figured being a sold CD, it would probably get 10 to 15 for it. And it was in a cardboard sleeve instead of a jewel case. So it would have cost me pennies. When I got home, I tried to find it online. From what I can gather, it was a freebie at a Pittsburgh Penguins game and rather rare. I took a best offer of 50 in less than a day. So it's a DVD, a hockey DVD. There you go. Would you have picked it up or left it behind? Vintage 1950s rubber stamp skin surface right left lateral head anatomy medical. It looks like she hit the Goodwill Benz anatomy section, right? This sold at the very end of April, but another I think is worth mentioning. I found a number of these at the Goodwill outlet. Some I had to censor to post on eBay, probably because of maybe the body parts. <laughs> um, even though medical, still censor. They seem to be from the 1950s and were rubber stamps. They seemed like doctors or nurses could have used for classes, maybe even for professors when creating texts. I'm not sure, or tests. I'm not sure. Anyway, I found several of these. They were a little heavier than scrapbooking type stamps and larger too, at about five inches tall. So I probably had about 50 cents into each of them. Took a best offer of 35 for this set right here. So there you go. They are, those are pretty cool. That's a pretty interesting thing. I probably would have picked that up. And the next one comes from Piece of Scrap on YouTube. Check her out. She said paid five and sold for 50 plus shipping on Poshmark. And they are Cork Ease Tatum Cream Leather Size 9 Clog Sandals. Block Heel Chunky Y2K. If you can use the word Y2K, if they're from that time frame, definitely put that in there. It is a definitely a searched keyword right now. All right, you guys, go and share your best June bolo. You will find that in the Facebook group up at the top under the featured or announcements section. And definitely shout out your YouTube or your whatnot, different platforms you sell on in the comment for a mention in a video like this.
Thank you to everybody that shared. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for helping us learn great bolos and come see me on whatnot. Check out those referral and affiliate links down below. Those are all things I use for my business. I've got bubble wrap, poly mailers, um, different things down there. And those are referral and affiliate links. So I do get a commission or I earn money to shop. Thank you again. I appreciate you all. And thanks for watching.